I tested five different prompts in Sora 2 and VO 3.1 to see which one creates the best B-roll. And both of these tools are now available in Synthesia, which you can try for free using the link in the description. You just need to make a basic account and once you're in the dashboard, select new video, start a blank project and you'll be dropped into the video editor where it's automatically added an AI avatar to present my video. But today I'm testing the limits of the B-roll generators with a list of five prompts that get progressively more complex as they go. So I'll go to the media tab at the top of the screen and in this drop down menu I can pick from VO 3.1, VO 3.1 fast or Sora 2. And I want to kick things off with something very simple without much detail. So I'll select VO 3.1 and add a prompt for a man running in the park. So this is going to test how each model interprets a very basic brief and how much creative license it takes. So once the prompt is in there I just need to hit the generate button and in a few minutes it's going to generate my clip right here. Then I just need to select it, which drops it onto the canvas, and I now just need to resize it to fill the frame like this. So I have a clip generated by VO3.1 that looks like this. Now, one thing you are going to notice with the VO3 generations in Synthesia is that it doesn't add audio, whereas Sora 2 adds background music and sound effects. So that is going to affect my final scores, but still, it's created a very slick piece of B-roll here with some smooth camera movement. The lighting is nice, and the physics also look pretty realistic to me. One thing that doesn't look 100% right is the face of the man here and I actually think it glitches out a little bit at the end but can Sora 2 do any better with the exact same prompt? I'll just change the model from the menu, paste that prompt in and hit generate once again. So as you can see, it has created something very similar, but this one does have sound effects and a bit of light music towards the end. One thing that is clear straight away is that the quality of the Sora 2 generations in terms of resolution is a little bit lower. The maximum resolution for Sora 2 is 720p, whereas VO 3.1 is 1080. I also don't think the camera movement in this generation is as smooth. It looks less cinematic and a bit more amateur. But all in all, I actually prefer the final result from VO3. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one do you think is better, Sora 2 or VO3.1? But now let's take this prompt and make it more specific and a lot more complicated. I'll go back up to the media tab at the top and start with VO3.1 again. And now I've pasted in a brand new prompt with a lot more details. Once again, it's going to be a man running through a park, but this time as he runs his outfit changes from workout gear into a business suit and then from business suit into a high-vis jacket all within one continuous shot Well, I've got to say, this is pretty much exactly what I had in mind. And whilst it doesn't have any sound effects or background music, it's pretty much followed everything about my prompt from the camera angle to the camera movement to the very specific details about the outfits. I actually don't have anything else to add. So let's take a look at the Sora version next. Again, this is pretty much exactly what I asked for. And I've got to say that added sound design and background music does take it to the next level. A couple of things I did notice, again, that resolution is a lot lower. And for some reason, it didn't follow my prompt exactly. So you'll notice in the VO3 version, when it changes to the high-vis jacket, it also changes the boots. There's some work boots that the man wears. And it actually says that in the prompt here. And Sora 2 just ignored that part of the prompt. It only added the jacket, which also only appears briefly before it disappears and then comes back again. So whilst I really do like the background music and the sound effects, I'm actually going to give this round to VO3 again. But now I want to try another prompt with multiple different people in the at once and some very specific location details and camera movements. I want to see a group of professionals gathered around a glass meeting table gesturing as they brainstorm. I want to see some sticky notes and tablets on the table and I want the camera to circle around slowly. We anchor the launch around community impact. This could be our hook. Right, but let's pair that with something tactile. Maybe a demo people can share? I like it. Well, both of these generations have stuck very closely to my prompt. There's a glass meeting table, there's the sticky notes, the tablets, and the camera movement. But one thing I have noticed about all of the VO3 generations so far is that whilst the resolution is really good, there's something about the quality that makes it look a little bit like CGI or animation. Especially when it comes to the human faces, there's something about the lighting and the skin quality that just doesn't look quite right. And I actually think most of the humans generated by Sora 2 are a lot more lifelike, despite 
despite the resolution being lower. So I'm giving this round to Sora too because it followed the prompt exactly right, the lighting is really nice and the camera movement is perfect. And for the next prompt, I want to have a bit more fun. This time I want to see an office worker raising a coffee cup during a meeting only for a small dinosaur tail to swing into frame, knocking the cup over. So this obviously tests for a more abstract scene and some tricky physics to get right. So once again, let's start with VO3 first. Okay. This is the first generation that I actually don't think would be usable in a video. It's pretty much followed the description exactly, but the physics don't look right at all. And for me, the realism just isn't there. And that's how it's done. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Look oh at my gosh. Did that just happen? Sora 2 hasn't followed the description exactly, and that is a running theme in this video. I've noticed that Sora 2 doesn't follow very specific instructions that well. But overall, I do prefer this one to the VO 3.1 version, so this round goes to Sora 2. So it all comes down to one grand finale, which is the most complicated prompt yet. A sequence showing the evolution of an idea. Sparks of light forming a human silhouette, which dissolves into moving particles, transforming into a network of people working together. But how well did each of the generators do? Once again, let's start with VO3.1. And now Sora 2. Overall, I do think these two models just excel at different things. VO3.1 is very good at creating very slick, smooth B-roll, but from my experience, Sora 2 is much better at generating realistic humans, and it can also create more complicated sequences with multiple shots within the same generation. So I actually did expect Sora 2 to do a little bit better on that final prompt, but in this specific scenario, I think VO3 did a much better job with smoother transitions, and just the design of that sequence is just a lot nicer my opinion. But I want to know which one was your winner. If you like Sora 2 the best, then give this video a like. And if you like VO3.1, leave a comment down below. And if you want to learn how to use some of the other tools in Synthesia, like how to add a realistic AI avatar to support your B-roll, you should watch the video on screen right now.